Hi guys, I'm Aditya Dimri. I post videos on YouTube almost daily. So, what's going on? So, today we're gonna talk about crisis management. It's a subject generally students freak out when they take this in their management course. But I'm gonna explain it in a pretty simple way so that you're gonna say, wow, how do I know that this was so tough? So, don't go away, just follow me, here I go. Crisis management, it's like uh, you must have seen certain conditions where, uh, I mean, some something happens and people say, we've got a crisis, bring down here, can't talk now, we're in the middle of a crisis, we've just undergone a crisis, I hope the business will survive. So these sort of terms you hear when a company goes through a crisis situation, right? You know first hand the sense of dread, hopelessness, frustration and grief that come with these kind of words. Crisis management is a means of proactively preparing a company, school, organization or a family for the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario for example like an uh, I mean an earthquake comes and everything just you know falls apart so just for example the process involves brainstorming potential crisis then planning how to do deal with them in a way that will minimize fallout to your company this is relatively a new field of management has been growing in the businesses since 2000 you can say and everybody I mean it's uh, nobody has forgotten 9-11 and that required ground zero kind of crisis management so businesses now more than ever want to I mean use crisis management so that they are able to tackle such situations crisis management means identifying the nature of a crisis uh, stepping to minimize the damage and recover from the crisis and even working the public relations angle to prevent harm to the company's reputation say for example uh, I suppose you all are aware with Toyota recall it was a uh, global uh, recall of Toyota vehicles with some faulty gas pedal problem so the CEO had to do uh, some um, right public relations kind of thing as well so you can uh, <coughs> take this example for this case in the case that harm can't be prevented a plan is in place to start rebuilding the process the business and the reputation if you haven't already put a crisis management plan in place at your office now it's time so suppose your company is going through a crisis management so you need to make a plan to get out of it right it could mean the difference between getting back on your feet or staying on them to begin with and filing for bankruptcy should crisis start a crisis management plan also has an added benefit many companies find that by going through the process of identifying potential crisis and putting a plan in place they're more in tune to start the crisis when the actually do arise and the means they are much more speedy in responding and handling the situation correctly uh, if you talk about crisis they come in several forms classified loosely as a financial this could be any crisis that reduces short-term liquidity or cash flow or that leads to bankruptcy B public relations any publicity is good publicity might work in Hollywood but in business negative publicity can kill a company C strategy when new technology or changes in the business world make it hard for a current product or service to remain viable strategy crisis might exist D natural disasters physical threats fires hurricanes tornadoes floods any physical disaster could put the your business as well as such threats 
such, uh, threats such as terrorist activity they can also hamper this so uh, like I suppose everything is clear till now there are certain examples uh, um, uh, that are related to crisis management they may include a uh, at this time I'll use numerical order <laughs> number one sexual harassment allegations number two extortion threat number three security leak associated with IT companies mostly number four is lawsuits number five discrimination allegations number six employee threats number seven employee death or injury number eight strike or work stoppage number nine computer breach number ten employee scandal number eleven terrorism number twelve can be protests number 13 illegal employee behavior number 14 equipment malfunctions number five 15 sorry loss of key executive when to whether to death or to another company or retirement number 16 disruption of phone internet or other services vital to the business number 17 chemical spill or leak like uh, say for example Fukushima nuclear power everybody knows that they I mean recently due to tsunami and earthquake it happened over there number 18 rumors that will damage company reputation number 19 whistleblowing so these are few of the examples but there are more which can be discussed later on so that's all for today see you next time bye bye have a nice day